our House Majority Leader, Amy Stevens. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And hello, hello. I, I, I was stopped by some cupcake-making uh, women over in there. I had to say hello and wanted to grab one. But listen, I, I really want to thank you for being here today. Thank you, Senator Williams. Uh, this is an important day. You know, since women began serving in the legislature, they've held leadership positions within the General Assembly. From the beginning, when the first women who were elected to a state legislature were chosen as a committee chair and secretary to the House, to Elizabeth Ear Pellet, who in 1955 became the first woman to be elected House Minority Leader, to some of Colorado's iconic women leaders, like the first female Senate president and the first woman to chair the Joint Budget Committee, Ruth Stockton and Norma Anderson, my mentor and friend, who not only served as the first female House Majority Leader, but then went on to serve as the first female Senate Majority Leader, the only woman to hold both positions. And then finally, in 2003, took us till 2003, Lola Spradley became our first and only female Speaker of the House. Now today, I have the honor of serving in the House leadership and as Majority Leader alongside other women in leadership. We have Caucus Chair Carol Murray, Caucus Whip B.J. Nickel, Joint Budget Committee Chairwoman Sherry Giroux, Assistant Minority Leader Nancy Todd, Minority Caucus Chair Dickie Lee Hullinghorse, Minority Caucus Chair Lois Court, Assistant Minority Caucus Chair Sue Ryden, and of course, my colleagues in the Senate, which include Madam President Pro Tem Betty Boyd. I want to thank everybody here today because, you know, this shows how far we've come, and as we said today on the House floor, and how far we have yet to go. I want to thank you. You may have noticed that uh, we are wearing hats today representing the various eras during which women served in the legislature. If you look at some of the photos of women legislators that are found on the walls of the Capitol building, you will see that women often stood out with their hats. I like to think that it was their way of expressing both their femininity and their power. 